materiales. Okay, my name's John August. I'm with the Australian Electric Vehicle Association. I'm having a chat with Bruno from El Mofo. So there's Bruno there. Bruno, the guy with the power videos. Bruno, the very enthusiastic guy. So Bruno, show us what, what's the, what's the bits yeah, and pieces. Show power, man. Come yeah. On. Okay. What about this thing I'm looking at here? What's right, this one? So here we've got a Reinhardt controllers. So these are the beast, man. Whoa! Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is actually a, a new model. Yeah, so yeah. this is the most popular one. They use for like ra racing cars. Lots of car manufacturers they start uh, prototyping and testing things, developing products with this. So this is the. RMS Reinhardt controller. This is the PM100, mm -hmm. and you're having 400 volts variation, or like 700 volts, which is like 800 volts max. Uh, so this is an industry standard. So really compact. All the ratings here is all in RMS. Everything. Yeah, so yeah. There's no BS, right? Yeah, so yeah. there's no like, oh yeah, we can do peak power da 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 no this yeah rms yeah. power so yeah. people aren't you playing the silly power. they're yeah. not playing silly buggers with the nah, specs anyway nah, yeah, nah, nah. Nah. we're not talking about like uh pmpo wa uh, watts yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah very good <laughs> so here you know, you got all the control models available you can buy so this is the most popular one pm 100 and this is a p it's kind of like the pm 100 but this is designed for oem for vehicles manufacturers this is basically a, a mass production version yeah because what happened is car manufacturers used to buy this and then they invest millions doing their own twist you know like actually making their own version a similar version uh for mass manufacturing they decide to do you know like make a simpler for the ev manufacturers made everything with the ethanol connectors so everything is just a plug and play easy for like replacing if there's any problem or anything so it's all like a it's just super easy this one is more like a, a hobby guy going there like polishing it i love my car <laughs> look at cnc man yeah Beautiful spending your weekends oh, in, the, in the in the garage oh, yeah look at cnc man like and then you put a copper lug here you put the uh it's just it's a lot more like a Crafting okay. here, where this is just like plug and play. Yeah, yeah, okay. Replace. And then you have some models here, like BM250. It's really powerful. Often, when you have like a supercars or some stupid monster electric cars, you're gonna have two electric motors and two PM250s. PM500 may be a mining truck, something stupid, like a army tank. Uh, this is like 700 kilowatts. So, uh, so lots, lots and lots. Yeah. Like, okay, uh, so what's that you got there, mate? What right, is so it? So this is a Parker motor. This is a 150 kilowatts motor. Yeah. Uh, so here, yeah, so massive motor shaft. This is going to be driving a big old Mercedes, like really heavy, yeah. heavy old old car. And this is going to be more powerful than the original motor. Like, right. Uh, it's got like a, a lot more torque. Jeff is doing the car. It's an EV festival here. Yeah. <laughs> So okay, but it's got it, it's got it got more, more power, power. A lot more torque. Uh, it's not like a we're not making a race car. It's mm. going to be more powerful than the original, and it's going to be better. Okay. All right. So here we're going to talk about the batteries, man. So here we got the El Morfo batteries, man. So how much does that Whoa! weigh? Oh, well, this one is empty. Yeah, empty. How much uh, would it weigh if it was full of a battery? Forty-one kilos. Forty-one kilos. Strong again, man. Yeah, I know, yeah. So, yeah. Now, so this is um, so basically we've got a very thick walls here. So you can use for like a EV prototyping. Uh, there's some companies in Europe, in US, and some in Australia. When they're prototyping with something, uh, there are some rules sometimes in some places. So they need to get something that is uh, fire safe, puncture resistant. If there's a crash uh, at 80 or 100 or 200 kilometers an hour, uh, I need some sort of protection. Not necessarily that this thing is gonna hold 200 kilometers an hour crash test it's not going to right mm -hmm. but it's just like some mechanical protection and breaking the packing modules right mm -hmm. so in case of a fire let's say let's say there's a little fire somewhere for some reason you get contained here in this space mm -hmm. 24 volt module 52 volts module 
ideal scenario is just get lots of 24 volt module and you keep connecting them in series. We're always using 400 volt system with the Reinhardt controllers. Mm -hmm. So what we're gonna do, we're connecting many, many, many modules. So it's more cost effective and easier. It just makes more sense to do it like the 52 volt modules. Like okay. this, right? So then we got more power, man. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. so these are air cool batteries, right? Yeah. So the performance batteries here. So we're not talking about like a little, like a normal EV batteries. So they actually suck the cool air from the bottom here. Yeah, so there's some vents here, yeah. and you suck there, four fans here. Ah, oh, so it's it, active ventilation. Active act, ventilation. Active cooling. So ideally, you just set the battery management system to activate when it's like two, or over 45 degrees, whatever you set there, and then start cooling here. You can set the fans to go forever, mm -hmm. but it's not good for the fan, right? You're cooling the cells, both sides of the cells, they're very thin blades, broken cells, very thin and long, so you can actually suck all the heat from outside and the inside, because you're also cooling the tabs. They have right. uh, aluminum bus bars, amazing. So you're cooling the whole entire cell, Active, active cooling because well, it's you're actively cooling this. Yeah, yeah. All right. So this is the race car. So this is the radical. We're not here with the car today, but we're eventually we're gonna put this thing back on the track. Radical is a English a UK company. They have a racing series in UK. We have the same racing series in Australia. They are they have like a a smaller entry level category and a high one, which is a V8, 400 horsepower. Uh, and then radical, this radical you see here. So when Brett start racing there, so it's basically pretty funny. They, they thought it was just a, a, a demonstration electric toy car. And then Brett was like, okay, but we want to actually join the series. And then they're like, well, yeah, well, it's going to be a bit embarrassing, you know, just you, you stay at last, right? Because we don't want you like, you know, being annoying as we racing. And it's like, oh, okay, we start at last. But he didn't tell them newton meters, like horsepower and stuff. So and then, yeah. So basically, the first race, he started last, and then he saw a highway, a freeway. Like, when is they still fighting for like one or two positions? The radical car just went and overtook everyone on the side. <laughs> So this is a, a Volkswagen van, nothing special. This was a, a charging station. They had a massive charging station here, really fast DC charger, ultra fast charger. It's basically just to complete the race. So you would go, put lots of laps, a lot of distance, leave the V8 cars behind, go for pit stop. There was a lot of like thermal management. There was a fridge inside this. You had to squeeze a lot of power. A huge power cable like this connect to the car, squeeze a lot of power there, fish and win the race. Right? Well, hey, Bruno, I suppose also we might say, look, yeah. solar power, you've got some oh, yeah, connection yeah, with yeah, these yeah, guys yeah, here, yeah. So. Oh, I should mention, look, my yeah. friends here, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Solar power Australia, man. Well, solar business, in Australia, very sunny country. So yeah, Brett actually owns two companies. <laughs> yeah. So he's actually like a El Morfo, the racing companies. That's what we like doing. And then the solar company. I work for, I tell people that I work for the fun company. Yeah. <laughs> I work for the fun company. <laughs> and this okay. is my channel, in case yeah. anyone asks. Because I got some people, oh, I recognize your voice. Yeah, I think yeah. I watch some videos. I'm like, yeah, man. <laughs> Wait, Bruno, Alrighty. was it El Mofo that did some uh, mo motorization for a train? Was a that train, electric that train. Electric train. Bay. Tell us about that. Yeah, so that was actually the first solar electric power train. Uh, so you see here, so the solar company with a solar train, and there's some battery systems, uh, a big park of motors. There's actually two larger motors uh, coupled together. So like two big motors connect together and a reduction here and connect to the train. And what happened is uh, they did all the math. So like we need this much torque, this much power to move a really heavy train uh, up to that speed and then slow down. All that calculation. In real life, they go there, roll the throttle, burn out. A train burnout. So it's just metal on metal. It's, right. not, it's not a friction. It's just a. 
and then they're like, all right. So they've got to control the torque of the motors to get the grip on the tracks, yeah? Yeah, but then they're like, wow, it's very slippery. So ah. they went and they had to lower, like make like a smoother acceleration curve because the, the like operator need to actually go full throttle. Ah. And what else, what else, what else? Okay, anything else you can talk about, El Mofo, what you do, what they do. Oh, well, so, yeah. So, all right, so we're doing an 800 volts um, system, which is a DC charger. So it's basically like a really big carport uh, solar panel. And then this is kind of like a UPS backup in case there's too many EVs there, the weather's not really good or nighttime. So we have 800 volts system using the El Mofo cells. Yeah. Why they went with El Mofo? Because this is the only one that actually could handle the stupid high current they need for the fast charging. Ah, like okay. A huge, enormous battery, but just for that current. Well, I know you were yeah, saying these this, batteries, yeah, yes. very good performance, yeah. but also very expensive. Yeah, so. it's a bit expensive for like a person, like just a guy coming for an EV project. But yeah, like, but if you're like a government or like a mining company, like, well, they, they have big budget. They can go, oh, we want the best of the best. Yeah. And then you've got the best of the best. Like mm. even the EV cars, they, they, they tell you that they're doing, they sell you the best of the best, but they, if they sell you that top high-end thing, you the car will cost like hundreds of thousands, more than you well, think of Tesla will cost now. Show the specs here. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Yeah, pretty powerful, man. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Uh, yeah, so, <laughs> oh, also, we have very smart uh, battery management system here. We use bathroom here, man. Battery, I work for battery as well. So I'm everywhere, man. Like, it senses the temperature. Look, it's highly customizable. Like just like the whole package is amazing. Premium, man. Woo! Ah, if you like my channel, please support my work on Patreon. One dollar, two dollars.